Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own hand sanitizer right from home. And I'm also gonna show you how to make aloe vera gel from scratch, because apparently the aloe vera gel has been selling out everywhere as well, even on Amazon. And plus, it's just a way cheaper option to make it from scratch anyway. All right, let's start by making the aloe vera gel first. So all you're gonna need is one large aloe vera leaf. Now, if you can't find this at your local grocery store, then I recommend going to your local Korean or Asian food market because they always have them and this one leaf only cost me 99 cents so the first thing I'm gonna do is cut off the end of the aloe vera leaf and then I'm gonna place it in a bowl with the side that I just cut faced downwards and this allows for the yellowish sap to drain out so I like to let that drain for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna give it a good rinse and next I'm gonna cut off the other end and then I'm gonna run my knife along the sides to remove the prickly part of the leaf. And now I'm just gonna cut the leaf into smaller portions to make it more manageable. And then I like to give it one more rinse. And now I'm gonna cut the green outer portion of the skin off of the leaf. Make sure you do it on both sides and try to get as close to the edge as you can. It will be sort of slippery, so be very careful. And this is how it should look once you've removed the outer skin. And just continue this process until you've removed all of the skin. And as you can see, one aloe leaf will yield you a lot of aloe vera meat. So now I'm just gonna add the aloe vera to my food processor and blend it until it's smooth. You can also use a blender for this. And now I'm gonna strain the liquid through my nut milk bag to really get that smooth gel-like texture. Now you can also use a cheesecloth, a thin rag, or even a fine mesh strainer. And now that the aloe vera gel is ready, it's time to make the hand sanitizer. So in a bowl, I'm gonna add 2 thirds cup of rubbing alcohol. You wanna make sure that it's at least 70% strength. And then I'm gonna add 1 third cup of the aloe vera gel. You can add more if you want a thicker texture. Go ahead and give that a good mix. And lastly, I'm gonna add in some peppermint oil and rosemary oil. Now, this step is completely optional, but I highly recommend it um, because it smells so, so good. Go ahead and mix all that up. And you can actually see the gel-like texture just like the hand sanitizers you buy at the store. Now I'm gonna transfer it to my dispenser and it's ready to go. The fresh aloe in this really does make a big difference with keeping your skin moisturized. I can tell a big difference between the homemade version versus the store-bought. And I decided to go ahead and make another batch to put into our travel containers. And keep in mind, all of this was made from that single 99 cent aloe vera leaf and only half a container of alcohol. Talk about saving some money. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope it was helpful for you. I tried to keep it short and sweet so that way you can share this video with your friends and your family. But that's it for today. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.